Well, Guy Sky News are back with a weather fear porn, but obviously the weather in England's pretty shocking, so instead we get Europe glowing red as the tart on the right uses every word she can to terrify the moron millions. Record-breaking temperatures predicted for this week, building on what we've already seen. Yeah, it's absolutely frightening when we start looking at some of the values that we're seeing. Oh yes, it's fucking terrifying. Sweet Cheeks, countries known for its hot weather in the summer, have got the hot temperatures people pay silly money to go on holiday for. Thank you for stating the bloody obvious, you idiot. I mean, these are near record-breaking already and could well break the records next week. So already we've seen into the low 40s and overnight not dropping down below the 20s. And when we talk about temperatures staying above 20 degrees overnight, that's what we call a tropical night. And it may sound romantic and warm and pleasant, but actually it's that horrible, oppressive, sticky, sultry heat that is really hard to sleep through and obviously is not great for our health. Oh, look, the horrible, oppressive night had to be thrown in there, despite it always being above 20 degrees at night near the Med. I know this as I went to Spain as a kid with night temperatures of like 28 degrees literally every day. It was also 40 degrees or more every single day there, but weather maps weren't redder than this woman's tampon after she had leaked all over it. And then the bigger picture across Europe, we've widely got temperatures 30s and 40s in the south, and it's quite frightening you can see the reds and the blacks on the chart there. And North Africa too, also intensely hot. There they could possibly get 50 degrees as we go into next week. So they've now decided that red's not enough, so black will show deadly heat. At this point, I'm just waiting for Dr. Shola or some other race-baiting scumbag to claim using black is racist because you know they bloody will. In Europe, we're looking at making possibly 48, which would be very close if not breaking that 48.8 Europe record for heat. So it's just unbelievable amounts of heat across Europe. And worryingly enough, Europe is the fastest warming continent at the moment in the world. It's, we are, by 2050, it's thought that half of Europeans will face high or very high stress index due to the heat. It's, we just can't get our head around the numbers. Oh, so you can't get your head around the numbers, but made the claim anyway. So, in other words, you're just talking shit. Got it. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say that Sky News are quite possibly the most unreliable scumbags when it comes to the climate con. Well, outside of just stop boiling this absolute helmet anyway. But if, if, OK, but we all want British people to live a, a good, healthy life. We don't want 1,700 people dropping dead over two days. Where do they so get it from? Why, anyway? why did the what, how did climate kill these people? When it gets so hot that the sweat no longer cools you down, you literally boil in your own sweat. I know that sounds like complete exaggeration. It does, but actually. When it gets... I'm afraid it does sound like exaggeration. <laughs> I've never heard it's of anybody boiling in exaggeration to say that people die in fires. I've never like, heard of anybody I mean, boiling in their, their own really sweat. What we boiling to, to do? Like, if there's a wildfire, people die from it. If How there's a you... flood, people die from it. If there's How a hurricane, people die from it. you have to boil for before you die? <laughs> this shouldn't be so funny. Uh, listen. Shit, give it a week and Sky News might well join him telling us people in Europe boiled to death in their own bloody sweat. The absolute clowns is certainly possible. Pan the pan the pan the pandemic. Where are